Hi everybody and welcome to the pull list. I'm Eric, I'll be your host. Um, today we're going to try it without my glasses so we can uh, skip the glare. And I'm sorry that it's been a while since I talked, but uh, there was a shipping problem with uh, previews, even though I don't get previews, and so it caused my comics to come late. So I've got like three weeks of comics to uh, get through, so we're just going to go through this probably as fast as possible. Um, first up, I'd like to talk about Justice League of America number 31. Um, this is disbanding the Justice League, basically that the Justice League's falling apart. Uh, Black Canary is beside herself because she's the chairwoman, chairperson of the, of the group. Um, Batman's dead. Superman's off planet. Something's going on with Wonder Woman. Whatever. Um, been there, done that. I don't really care. It was well written, but psh, I don't really care. You know, we'll get some B, B and C list team for a while, and the big guys will be back more than likely. Or the book will be canceled, and you'll have to get the new guys back. Anyway, uh, Incredible Hercules 127. This is under the Dark Rain thing. I like what Greg Pak's doing. Don't care to see Norman Osborn in this book. I don't care. Um, psh, I don't care. Okay, we have a uh, bunch of bat books. We're just going to get those out of the way. There's Azrael, Death's Dark Knight number one, Oracle the Cure number one, Batman Battle for the Cow, Commissioner Gordon number one, Batman Battle for the Cow, Man Bat number one, and Batman Battle for the Cow number two. Not one. Um, are all these tie ins really necessary? I mean, is even Batman Battle for the Cow necessary? It's, uh... After this miniseries is over, we're going to know who the, the real Batman, the new Batman is, so why even bother reading this? But for the people that need to know the whole story, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, don't bother with any of the tie-ins. They're not good. They're not... Commissioner Gordon, why do I care... Why do I care what's going on in his world right now? And why do I care what's going on in Bat Man Bat's world? I, I don't. You shouldn't either. You shouldn't be like, you know what? Batman's missing, but what's, what's Man Bat up to? I, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, Azrael, there's a new Azrael. Um, Oracle, the cure. Several different times they talked about her legs. She talked about her legs and how she can't use them. If this is setting it up for her to get her legs back, so help me. Oh my goodness. She's more valuable to the DCU as Oracle than she ever was as Batgirl. As Oracle, she's her own character. As Batgirl, she's a watered-down female version of Batman. Okay. Uh, Captain America Comics 70th Anniversary Special number one. That's a mouthful for not even a mouthful of reading in that. It was another origin of Steve Rogers and why Steve Rogers is the best Captain America they'll ever be. But uh, this one's unique because it's from the uh, perspective of Bucky. Yeah, I don't care. We've heard it a million times. Thank you, Marvel, for having me waste more money on your books. Um, Angel number 19. Well, that explains why there was a giant cat on the last issue's cover. Um, they're building something up right now. They're setting something up. Not sure what it is, but... It seems... Uh, this new direction in Angel seems to be missing. Something that Angel After the Fall had, but... We'll, just, we'll give it time to build up. That takes us into uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer number 24. That also left me wanting more. Um, do you remember the series finale to Angel? At the very last battle scene, uh, Angel and all his cronies are there. Here comes the dragon, all the demons, all the monsters. And then they go into battle and it, the show ends. The show just ends, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how this issue of Buffy ends. We got Faith. Um, they, they kill the big bad. But then that sets up for this all-out vamp attack. And we don't get to see any of it. But 
whatever. Flash Reborn number one. Thank you for spoiling Legions of Three Worlds. It's, uh, I understand you can't, that there's going to be inconsistencies in the timing of certain things, but I mean, Legions of Three Worlds, a Final Crisis tie-in. Final Crisis ended a few months ago. This book should have been out already, but it wasn't. And so now, Flash has gone and spoiled the ending of that book. Whatever. Uh, Barry Allen's back. He's the Flash. Apparently, he's sucking out the speed force from other speeds. I don't know what's going on. I don't care. I'm scared of what's going to happen to Wally with with this. Um, yeah. Okay. Justice Society of America number 25. Okay. Look at the cover to this. Okay. See how uh, Mary Marvel is in the uh, Black Adam suit? That's fine because she got her powers from Black Adam, right? But then inside the book she's not wearing that. She's wearing her Final Crisis outfit where she got the powers from Darkseid. Okay? So then, when they try to take her powers away, they take away her Black Adam's powers, but she didn't get her powers from Black Adam. She got her new powers from Darkseid. So this shouldn't have worked. Um, I was there. I read it. You were there. Um... Okay. We got uh, some super, some super books. I'll just talk about those since I did all the bat books at once. We got Supergirl number thirty-nine and Superman number uh, six eighty-six. Okay, Supergirl. I really, really hate her mom. I don't know what crawled up her butt. I guess being locked in a bottled city for years. You know can really wear on a person, but man, she is something else. Um, and then Superman, we got Mon-El taking over. Uh, Superman went off planet, it shows them talking about, uh, talking to Mon-El and the Guardian and still make sure you watch over uh, Metropolis while I'm gone. They're like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And so, I mean, it's, it's, so far it's fun reading and then setting up for the return of Atlas Spoiler, sorry, I should have said that. Turn of Atlas. Because that wasn't lame the first time. So, we gotta get the sequel to that. Um, then we got Daredevil, number 117. Um, the Kingpin is back. He's back in Hell's Kitchen. And he's making deals with Daredevil to take on the hand. And I think Daredevil's down for it. This is going to be some cool stuff. I can't wait for more. With that said, uh, Captain America number 48. This is an amazing book. Just month in, month out. I, I don't know how Brubaker does it and I'm, I'm sad to see him leave on Daredevil after a couple of months from now. But if he ever leaves Captain America I am going to petition and um, probably threaten his family in some form. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's amazing stuff. It's, it's the best Captain America's ever been, ever, ever. And it just goes to show you don't have to have Steve Rogers. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Sorry. Love Steve Rogers. Love Steve Rogers. Bucky's cool, too. All right, now it's time for my star pick of the week, Wonder Woman number 30. And this is part of the... Rise of the Olympian storyline. We actually get to meet the Olympian in, in this issue. Um, Zeus creates him out of fire and some other dude's heart. Um, he's supposed to take over Wonder Woman's position. Um, I don't care right now. I mean, that's cool. It's just a little part of the story. What I want to see is the rematch between Genocide and Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman's ticked off right now. and She's tearing through everything. And it's so sweet. And I want to. I just want to see. I just want to see this knockdown, brutal fight, and it's 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 going to pay off big. I can I can tell. Gal Simone's doing a fantastic job, but I don't take my word for it. Um, Football Jim via satellite. What did you think? I haven't read it. <laughs> well, all right. 
Okay, well here's a, we're going to leave with a few figures that I've gotten recently, and uh, God bless, and uh, peace. Take it off! Help me! They're after me! Help! Help! I can't do it! Let go of me! Let go of me! I haven't read it. <laughs>